break up with break up with is sever the connection, usually with your girlfriend or your boyfriend or something like that. So, ah, uh, you're dating this boy, and he wasn't working out for you, so you broke up with him. You broke up with him. You dumped him. You split from him. Koreans like to say kick. But we don't say kick in English. It sounds kind of violent, you know? So it's just you broke up with him. Any final words? Any final words? Break up with your boyfriend or girlfriend and study English full time. That's my advice. <laughs> English! Today's <laughs> question break up. With an enemy, break up, break up. Namnyo ga break up. 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 Break break up break up with him break up with her 하면요, 그녀하고 깨지다. 이렇게 말할 수 있겠죠. 자, break up 비슷한 표현은 바로 split. split도 마찬가지 어때요? 음, 나누는 거잖아요. 그렇죠? split. 그래서 나누다라는 느낌이니까 남녀가 이렇게 헤어질 때도 split이라는 표현 사용할 수 있다라고 하네요. 자, 그리고 덤프라는 표현이 있는데요. 이 덤프라는 것은 쓰레기, 쓰레기를 버리는 것처럼 생각하시면 됩니다. 사실 좀 좋은 표현 같지는 않은데요. 자, 내가 누가고 사귀는데 예를 들어 차버렸어요. 우리 한국말로 차버리다라는 표현을 사용하는데 영어로는요 킥이라는 표현을 사용하지 않습니다. 덤프라고 합니다. I dumped her. I dumped him. 이렇게 해서 사용을 하죠. I dumped him. I dumped him. I dumped her. I dumped her. Now I know why I broke up with you. Now I know why I broke up with you. Now I know why I broke up with you. Now I know why I broke up with you. Now I know why I broke up with you. So I broke up with Katie and haven't been dating anybody else. So I broke up with Katie and haven't been dating anybody else. So I broke up with Katie and haven't been dating anybody else. So I broke up with Katie and haven't been dating anybody else. So I broke up with Katie and haven't been dating anybody else. Derek and I just broke up. Oh, oh. no, that's terrible. Are you okay? Well, Derek and I just broke up. Oh, oh no, that's terrible. Are you okay? Well, Derek and I just broke up. Oh, oh no, that's terrible. Are you okay? Well, Derek and I just broke up. Oh, oh no, that's terrible. Are you okay? Well, Derek and I just broke up. Oh, oh no, that's terrible. Are you okay? 자, 오늘은요. 남녀 관계에서 사용할 수 있는 헤어졌을 때 사용할 수 있는 표현, 헤어질 때 사용할 수 있는 표현. 자, 알아봤는데요. 자, 여러분들 브레이크업 기억하고 넘어가시고요. 비슷한 표현들도 같이 알고 넘어가시면 좋겠네요. 그러면 우리 다음 시간에 뵙도록 하겠습니다. 시간이 next time. 바이바이.